guys, it's Jenny again. I couldn't resist coming out on the patio today, enjoying the backyard. I'm going to do an unboxing video, but first let me just give you a quick zip around the backyard here. This is uh, December in California. Green, about 84 degrees. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. I brought my canaries out on the patio to enjoy the sun, take a bath. My Greyhound is enjoying the day, aren't you Chance? He's blowing bubbles at you. And there are my other canaries. Anyway, enough with the frivolity. Let's get down to the deck. This is the deck I got for Christmas. I haven't opened it yet, it just arrived from Barnes & Nobles. And boy, the canaries sure are enjoying this outdoor fun this afternoon. So this is the Vintage Wisdom Oracle by Victoria Mosley. Now I have not personally um, worked too much with Oracle decks. I've really concentrated and studied Tarot and Lenormand. So this, I do have a few Oracle decks that are um, mostly, you know, whenever I see a deck that has artwork that draws me in, I'll pick it up. But I really mostly collect them for the artwork and I haven't really worked with them so much for divination purposes. And I saw somebody else on their channel uh, feature this deck and I thought it was just beautiful. So I thought I'd pick it up. Vintage Wisdom Oracle, Victoria Mosley. It comes in a nice sturdy box. I live near a hospital and I work at the hospital. I'm about a block away, so I get a lot of sirens here. The Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck presents 52 lavishly illustrated cards infused with the beauty and inspiration of goddesses, divas, and etheric muses. Rich in symbolic detail, these exquisite montages combine artfully blended images of French sepia photographs, wildflowers, nature totems, and delicate vintage lace. This luxurious set includes an 80-page guidebook filled with evocative insights and timeless feminine wisdom, as well as five custom card spreads. So it's from US Games. It's in a nice sturdy box, made in China. Let's open it up and take a look. Very nice. The cards are also shrink wrapped. So let's see if we can get this undone. I know it takes a few minutes, but I always enjoy watching other people unbox their decks and share their excitement, so just bear with me here and I will share with you. And let's say a prayer that whoever they're bringing to the hospital does okay. We do have a pretty active emergency room. We had quite a few patients today that had some severe issues, including stroke and a 16 year old that's very very sick so I always pray for those people. Alrighty, the Vintage Wisdom Oracle, here's the book, the guidebook. Sturdy, it's got kind of a semi glossy cover and this is copyright 2014, there's an introduction. I'm trying to see who the artwork is by. Okay, um, Victoria Mosley. All right, so then they dive right into the cards. Abundance, here we see a depiction of Pomona, the Roman goddess of abundance. Well, the town right next to where I live is called Pomona. We have a statue of the goddess Pomona in our library. So I'm going to love seeing this card off the bat. Adventure, Ancestors, Awakening, Balance. All right. Well, I don't want, don't want to spend a lot of time going through a book that's not very interesting to look at, but it looks like there's a lot of information in here to read about the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. The cards have a kind of a cool backing. 
they're pretty pretty large size as oracle cards are known to be got a lovely image here of a face from days gone by now let's see and they're they're uh, thin and pliable flexible they look to be good quality they don't seem to have any um, any plastic uh, laminate that's peeling off or anything. They're a little bit on the thick side, but not too bad. So here is the title card, Vintage Wisdom Oracle by Victoria Mosley. And there we have Abundance to represent the goddess Pomona, as I found out from the book just now. Lovely. Here's Adventure. I love that. Ancestors. An old photograph and a young child. Awakening. Balance. As a ballerina would. Beauty. Celebration. Lovely. Centering. Very interesting. I'm going to bring that in a little closer so you can see the central image and the expression on her face. Very pretty. Centering. Change. This is a, um, I think it's a water house uh, figure, this woman. Although the rest of the card obviously is uh, different art. I can't remember the name of the painting, but uh, yeah, that, I believe that's Waterhouse. Change. She's got the owl in the tree there. This is another Waterhouse. Choice. The woman with the crystal ball. Choice. Compassion. Discernment. Well, that's rather cute. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Japanese style. Pretty cute. Divine timing. Dreams. This is the uh, cover photo from the box. Dreams. Enchantment. My canaries sound a lot better than a siren. I think you'll agree to that much. Enchantment. Oh, wow, look at that expression. Just the eyes and the butterflies. Wow. It's really a strong impression that you get from that card. Faith. Lovely. She's got her mantilla. Freedom. Free as a bird. Freedom. Gentleness. Lovely. Grace. Gratitude. Guardian Angel. Harmony. That's rather sweet. She's looking up at the birds above. Healing. Hope. The expression on her face is really lovely too. Innocence. Very sweet. Intention. Oh, yes, that's a Waterhouse um, Circe and Vidiosa. Circe is casting a spell, and that's intention. She's poisoning the well, so to speak. It's a very famous painting. I'm, I'm ecstatic to get that in this deck. I didn't realize that this is one of the images in the deck. Wow. Intuition, 
kindred spirits, another Japanese image. Adorable. Listening. Wow, this deck is great. I love it. It's beautiful. Love. Nature. Look at the poppies. The poppies are really beautiful. New beginnings. Patience, <laughs> very cute. Looks like a little girl waiting for Santa to come. She's gotta have a lot of patience. Peace, as in silent night, holy night almost. It looks really, has that Christmassy feel. It's just beautiful. Peace, perception. Playfulness. Power. Protection. Purity. Reflection. I have to say these cards have gone beyond my expectations. I mean, these are just spectacular. They are gorgeous. Release. Sanctuary. Shadow self. Sort of a moon type of an image there. Spider web, the moon, the water, pillars shadow self, strength, very cute, S-T-A-R, star, surrender, there's a whole deck of surrender cards that I'd like to get, I think I heard uh, Simon talking about that deck, two spirit, and I'd really love to get the surrender cards, but anyway, here's just a single surrender card, Thought, transition, very pretty, trust, truth, oh, another water house uh, from, uh, I forget the name of the painting. It's the three, um, anyway, it's a water house painting, truth. So these are photo collage, obviously. Union. Oh, I love the lotus on her forehead. Isn't that beautiful? The Indian look to this card, union. And last but not least, we have wisdom. With the little horned owl, beautiful. Got the water in the background too. Wow, these cards are really lovely. So, without any further chatter, we'll just go ahead and say good evening to you and I hope you're having a great end of the year to 2017. That you got all the decks that you wanted for Christmas and I'll talk to you soon again. Good night.